What's up everybody? It's your boy, sorry, Busy Blue, and I am here with what was supposed to be a story time Saturday, but I'm glad I waited till today. Y'all, this lady, <laughs> she just cussed the dog out of me and I don't even know her, yo. This whole weekend, my God, was a bust. It was just a big bust. It was a huge, huge bust. Um, so let me go into the weekend. So what was supposed to happen this weekend was that um, I was supposed to be going to a bachelor party. Um, if you haven't gone to my old blog, you know that I'm um, the man of honor, um, which is like the maid of honor, but for a guy, um, for my friend's wedding. And um, I was supposed to go to, I'm really close to her and her husband, so I was supposed to go to his bachelor party. Um, and it was supposed to be out somewhere, so I couldn't bring my kids. So I had my friend watch the kids. I asked my friend if she could watch the kids, but I think it was a conversation that was in passing so much so that she didn't even think she had to watch them or remember. Anyway, or either way, um, she, um, hold on, why isn't it letting me? Um, either way, um, she got surprised with it because it's her birthday weekend. She got tried, um, surprised with a trip to um, New York for her birthday. So she couldn't really come with me. I mean, she couldn't watch the dogs anymore. I tried to ask my best friend. Um, he couldn't do it on Saturday, which is really what I needed them to, you know, be out, be walked, be fed, you know, not be in the cage all day or whatever. So uh, I just had to stay behind. So Friday, my best friend came over, you know, we did a video, watched um, Big Brother and stuff like that. So that was cool. Um, and then Saturday, it was really a bust. Y'all, y'all have faith. <laughs> he ditched me. If you guys are following me on Twitter, may, I mean, if you're not, make sure you are. Busy Blue, um, no space, no E. And um, y'all know how much I've been talking about going to see it, going to see it, going to see it. Like, I've been so excited. So yesterday, I mean, again, he was working all day, which is why he couldn't watch the dogs. But late at night, it was like 10 around, around 10 or um, 10, 9, 10 ish. We decided we were going to go to see the movie. Y'all remember how hype I was and how excited I was on Twitter? If you're following me, go read through that. Um, so he's like, yo, what time you want to go? 10, 11. Yeah, I was like, yo, you driving? So, you know, just let me know because we want he wanted to go to a specific theater. Fine, cool. I got dressed, got excited, started tweeting about it, telling people, da, 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 da. Then he was like, um... <laughs> Um, something like we're not going anymore, we're not going to be able to go, can we go tomorrow, something like that. So I was like, damn. And I got so excited, but you know, I was like, you know what, fine, whatever. I spent all day in the house yesterday watching Survivor, which, Survivor 25 was a boring season. It was, it's boring. Snooze fast, okay? Snooze fast. I don't want anybody to go watch it, anybody to go see it. Um, I think Malcolm's cool. I, and I do like Abby. Even though she get on my nerves, I do like her too. Anyway. So, got pissed off, was like, fuck it, whatever. So, then I'm scrolling through Instagram. He forgot that I'm now friends <laughs> with one of his friends, right? And the friend is in the back seat, you know, they, um, you know, um, he's in the back seat, you know, he's doing video, you know, Instagram would get people in trouble. So, he's the, the music going, bumping, da 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 da. And I'm like, yo, I know that car. He goes up scrolling around, <laughs> then my best friend go. <laughs> Driving the car, they going out. Yo, and they didn't even go far. They went where, I, I live right across the bridge. <laughs> I was like, this nigga ditched me. Oh, man. Oh, so mad. But I was like, you know what? It's fine, whatever. I finished um, getting through more episodes of this boring season. My friend now, she's back from her trip that she took to New York. Um, she's like, yo, will you be able to pick up my daughter, bring my daughter to, I mean, from her aunt, bring up, pick her up from her aunt and bring her to her brother's mom's house. So I was like, sure. So my best friend, she's doing this whole, you know, 30 before 30. She wanted to do like runs and jump out of pain. Pretty much she did everything on her list. And this last thing she wants to do to really bring in her birthday was this um, 15 mile run. She's in this marathon. She's actually running it right now. Um, I'm not there because I had the plans to be the designated picker-upper and drop-her-offer. 
So I was like, yo, but what about the beginning of the run and stuff like that? She's like, no, I just need you. Right now it's getting a little wonky. I need you to pick up uh, my daughter from here. And can you just bring her to the other place? Because she needs to get makeup and all that stuff. Then immediately after the run, she don't have time to be thinking about this. I was like, you know what? You run. I'm going to get my goddaughter. I'm going to pick her up from point A. I'm going to bring her to point B. And we're going to get this done, right? So I live in a metropolitan area with a train. So I was like, okay, let me get up. At a certain time, get on the train, go get the daughter, bring her, I pick her up from that train station, bring her to this train station where her brother's mom is going, the brother's moms are going to pick her up. Um, clearly, they had the same depth for two different moms, it, for those who couldn't get with that. So, I get up, you know, walk the dogs, we have a really nice walk, um, you know, make breakfast, eat coffee, da 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 ready to go. So, my friend said, make sure you call her aunt first. So that the aunt will know and that she'll be ready and dressed or whatever. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. So I'm calling um, this morning. I'm not hearing anything. Not hearing anything. I keep calling, calling, calling. So then I sent a text like, hey, because I only had a certain, a certain amount of time. The person who's supposed to be the boy's mom's, so her daughter's brother's mother, She's like very particular, like I need her to be here at this time and, or I can't do it. She's like one of those people. You know how some people are just like, you know, I like the color green, but it got to be Hunter. You know, if it's another type of green, then it's just not going to be able to work or something like that. That's how she is. Um. So I was like, well, I have to get her here at this time. And this lady's not picking up. I want to make sure she's dressed and ready because I don't want to get there. And she's not. So I sent the text and the text is like, hey, good morning. Let's call her Felicia. Hey, good morning, Felicia. This is Busy Blue. You know, um, I'm coming to pick up my goddaughter. You know, I'll be there soon. She texts back, her mother needs to call me. Like, it was like abrupt. And then again, it was like, her mother needs to, I need her mother to call me first. And this time, I'm already at, you know, the train station. So then she, I get a phone call. <laughs> so I'm like, hello. Motherfucker, you're not coming to my house. <laughs> you're not coming to my house. Her mother needs to call me. And I was like, oh, she, she did. Now, y'all, I'm taking her back. <laughs> I, I don't know this lady. <laughs> I'm only supposed to be picking up the baby from point A to point B. I don't know the lady. Never, never before. Nothing like that. Now, my goddaughter talks about her all the time. Felicia this, Felicia that, Felicia that, Felicia that. So I'm assuming she's a great woman. <laughs> her mother needs to call me um i'm not letting her go with you and i said well, well, well that's understandable you know I, I and i'm not upset with that i assumed that her mom coordinated all of this with everybody no she did not and motherfucker you not coming to my house don't be calling me i need her mother to call me i said okay well um i think her mom has started the run now so she's not going to be available now, I don't know, I think, what well, I'm going to say, I think, I know that this is the brother's, I mean, her, the my goddaughter's dad's sister, because she says her aunt, and I know my best friend, she, <laughs> none of her aunts are babysitting them, um, I mean, none of her sisters are, so I know it has to be the dad's sister, so if it's the dad's sister, I'm assuming that her brothers, because they have the same dad, her mom must know her. Right? If that, if that makes sense. Because right now, the middle of the story is my goddaughter and then her dad. And then her dad has two sons. And I'm assuming the, mo the mother must know Aunt Felicia. Has to know Aunt Felicia. So I'm like, oh, I'm assuming she, she coordinated with anyone. This is her last day of her, you know, 30 before 30. She's coming into her birthday. Um, is this. How about I call, let's call the other lady, like, Alicia. How about I call Alicia... I mean, I call Alicia because it's so close to Felicia, which she was acting like a Felicia. Let's say Danielle. How about I call Danielle and see if Danielle can maybe coordinate something with you? Um, because I know that I can't interrupt her run. She's already running. It's a 15 mile run. She's already started. No, I don't need you coordinating shit. She's not going with you. The mother needs to call me first. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, I mean, if it was this easy for you to keep her, why are we even move her in the first place? <laughs> That's just what I'm thinking in my mind. You know what I'm saying? If 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 she's so bent, I, I will say this. I uh, appreciate and I love the fact that um, 
you know, she has family members who are like, sorry, you know, sir. She, I mean, she ain't saying it like this, but sorry, sir. I don't know you. I'm not familiar with you. I can't just hand off my niece to some random man. And I appreciate, I think that that was, I thought that that was great. Um, <laughs> I can't, I, I lost my train of thought of where I was going with that, but either way, if, I don't understand why we even had to move, and I can't call, uh, I don't understand why we even had to move her if the, if the aunt is acting like she's staying here, and she's not going anywhere, and her mom needs to call me before she goes any, with anything. So I'm trying to reason with her, I'm like, look, I understand that she hasn't called, but I know that she cannot do this. Now. this she's running a 15 mile run, run. I mean, maybe walking at one point. You know I love you, girl. Um, but she's running. Like I know she can't do that. Um, I'm not saying this to her, but I'm thinking I know she's she can't do it. What can I do right now to try to like alleviate fix the situation? I said, okay, look. How about I just call you know Danielle? Maybe we'll get it together. No, you don't need to call nobody. Mom needs to call me. Get the fuck off my phone. So then she hangs up. So I was like. Okay, so I just, I sent my friend a text like, yo, this bitch just cursed me <laughs> out, and she pushed me to the, I'm not going to her house, who knows what she's going to do now when I get to her, I've never met this lady, and this is how she just treated me, so, um, my friend, she's running, so I didn't expect her to say anything back, so now I'm texting the lady like, yo, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm telling her what I'm going to try to do, um, then a text comes in, her mom needs to call me, and then another text that was like, and when you text somebody in the morning, you text them good morning first. Is the issue, <laughs> was my salutations the problem? I just did not understand what she was talking. Anyway, I sent a text. It was a little lengthy, but it, it basically said something like, hey, I'm so sorry. I learned about all of this stuff late last night, so I assumed that she had it all squared away. What I'm going to do is contact Danielle. Maybe she'll be able to coordinate with you because that's where my goddaughter's going. Um, I want to thank you so much uh, for being such a loving family. I'm, I'm glad that my goddaughter has such a loving family. Um, and I will try to um, have Danielle reach out to you. Then she texts me back. Don't send no long ass text messages like that. <laughs> and I'm doing this because I know she had music because I've talked to her. Don't send me no long ass text messages like that. Her mother needs to call me. Stop texting my phone. So then finally, and I feel so bad. I feel so bad because then her mom, my best friend, calls. It was like, hey, you sent a text? And I was like, yo, I can't go get her. Like, I, I cannot go get her. I tried to go get her. She didn't know. She just, this lady just cursed me all the way out. My friend, and I feel bad because my friend's in the middle of her marathon run. This is not, not how I wanted her to go into her 30. It's not how she wanted to go into her 30. So she's like, okay, let me call you back. Calls her. Um, da, da 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 da. Then she calls me back <laughs> and was like, What did you say to her? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I haven't said anything to her. <clears throat> well, she was saying, like, He can't talk to me like that. I don't. <laughs> what did I say? Yo, when I say I'm so lost, you know how there's just some people who are truly revisionist historians in the moment. Like Raven. <laughs> I was puppeteering. I really was confused. Like, I didn't say anything. So I told her, so I screenshotted all the text messages and said all the stuff. So I was like, yo, my sole purpose today. I didn't go to the bachelor party. I didn't go to see the movie I wanted to go see. And the only thing that I was supposed to do right now before we go to celebrate her birthday was drop her daughter off. <laughs> and I got cursed out in the process of doing that. <laughs> oh, I have to laugh through this. That's like, you know, and I was thinking, I was supposed to do story time yesterday with my best friend. And he stood me up. And I think God was like, bro, you're going to have a story to tell today. Oh, my God. <sighs> Y'all, so <laughs> nobody else can pick her up but my best friend. And I feel kind of bad now because now the lady's like, no, you need to come get her. So now my friend, she has to finish the run and she's going to have to go get her. Uh, Y'all, I don't know. <laughs> this was a lot. Oh, man. Let me, um... 
<laughs> Just, I don't know. Yo, that was my story time Saturday. Sorry it's coming on a Sunday, but yo, that was God. He was working on it. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> What's up, busy bees? Um, you can follow me on all social media websites, Busy Blue, no space, no E. You can follow my Facebook, the Busy Blue. Let me get up here and drink. <laughs> try to figure out what's next. <laughs> Stay busy until next time.